Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot, and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. Um, the question or theme for today is going to be, how do they feel about me? So this could be, um, if you're a man, you could be asking about a woman. If you're a woman, you could be asking about a man. Also, we're welcome same-sex couples. Um, so it could be about really anyone, and we're just going to see how do they feel about you. I also have um, my personal messages cards that I have from your person. So these are um, some loving messages channeled directly from your person. So I will draw a few of those for each pile. And um, I didn't do charms in my last reading, but I will do charms for this particular reading. Um, the cards that I'm using are one card from the Goddess Guidance deck, um, two cards from the Classic Rider Weight deck, two cards from the Gilded deck, and two cards from the Gypsy Playing cards. Um, the icons that we're using, we're using some different icons that I have. Um, these are kitty stickers. So the first kitty sticker says Awesome Sauce, and it has this cute little kitty. So if you're drawn towards that icon, that is going to be the first reading. The second kitty says Beautiful. So if you're drawn towards that icon, that is the second reading. And the third reading says treats now. And this kitty looks like he's he's begging for treats. So those are the icons. So I'm just going to be quiet for a minute and let you focus on um, which icon you're drawn towards. And this will be your reading about how your person feels about you. So if you chose the first reading, the awesome sauce, let's look at your cards. So you got the anger card, you got the enemy card, you got the knight of swords, you got the seven of swords, you got the Queen of Wands, and you got the Emperor. Okay, and the Oracle card that you got was Sullis, Bodies of Water. Spend time near water such as lakes, rivers, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. Okay, so how does this person feel about you? I think... Um, I'm not sure who you're asking about, but I feel like this person, um, they are not very happy with you right now. They're mad at you for some reason. Maybe they think that you cheated on them or they think that you've lied to them or you've betrayed them in some way. Um, I feel like this person, they don't have any trust for you and they could feel like, um, you know, you have betrayed them in some way. So I think this person, um, they're just not very happy with you right now. I'm not sure. This is kind of a strange reading because this is supposed to be a positive reading. And I'm having a hard time getting positive messages from this these particular cards. So it could be that... Um, this person is lying to you. It could be that this person is lying to you. This person is betraying you. And um, they, they just, they want to fight with you. They, they feel like doing some sort of harm to you in some way. I, I'm just sorry about this message. It seems very horrible. Maybe they see you as this very strong person who um, is good on your own. Maybe they see you as this confident person who, 
you know, is very sexy, who can really get anybody they want. And maybe that makes them angry. Maybe they're angry with someone else. Maybe they're angry um, because they think that you have chosen someone else. And it could be that they they're mad at another person okay it could be that they're not mad at you um there's a lot of messages that are streaming into me right now um but i feel a lot of anger coming from this person the look on the face of these cards to me is all anger so that's what i'm channeling from this person um they could think that you made a choice and you um, made a choice to go with someone else. Um, I think they feel a lot of loss and because of that um, they've got their defense up. They could be feeling like they have to protect themselves and um, this person is going through a, a lot of personal challenges and obstacles. Um, they could be very violent right now. They could be um, wanting to fight other people. Maybe if they feel there's competition um, for your love and your attention, they really, um, they would fight for you. I feel like they, they probably are. They could be spying on you. And maybe if they see you with another person, um, they're very angry about it. They're very angry. And with the Knight of Swords, I think they want to take this quick action um they want these changes and they're really thinking about changing things i feel like they want to come out with this truth i think they want to tell you that they're probably really stressed probably really upset if you are maybe lusting <clears throat> after somebody else or if you're um, confident with yourself and you've been dating other people I feel like this person they're really they don't want that to happen they don't want that to happen they could feel like someone else is trying to steal you and um, they're gonna fight them they really this person is very masculine with the Emperor here this person uh, they don't back down they don't back down and they could feel like they are your husband and they they're gonna boss other people around they're gonna be like stay away from my woman <clears throat> I will cut you <laughs> seriously like I feel like this person they're not the type of person that you would want to mess with um, other people would probably run away from this person because this person's a little bit on the crazy side. They could be actually kind of like obsessed with you and they're going to bully other people out of your life. They're going to, um, they see you as, you know, this very beautiful, hot, sexy, confident person and they, they probably lust after you. And they're going to be like this alpha male and they're going to come in and they're going to fight. Actually, they've got a weapon here. They've got a weapon here. They've got a weapon here and they're fighting someone here. So I feel like this person is not a person that you want to, to mess with. This person, I feel like towards you, they... They may be a little bit angry, but I don't think that they would hurt you. I think that they'd rather hurt this other person um, that they think is probably trying to steal you away. So this is kind of a strange message that I'm getting here. Um, but this person, how do they feel about you? They feel like you are very attractive, very sexy, very confident, hot, and you can probably have anybody you want. And because of that, they're scared. They're, they're dangerous. They're literally dangerous. And um, they could be watching you. And if they see other men around, it could confuse them as to, uh, is she still mine? You know, does she still want to be with me? And they might want to get rid of these other threats. So they could be kind of a dangerous person. They, um... They're very masculine. They're very, um, they're like a caveman. I feel like this person, they're channeling caveman energy. Seriously, this guy even looks kind of like a caveman. So, um, 
Then we've got body of water. Spend time near water such as a lake, river, ocean to recharge your batteries. So for you, I think um, maybe you are actually feeling this negative energy that this person is admitting, admitting from them. And you could be feeling a little bit um, unwell, you know, because uh, you're not sure why. You're probably feeling like um, something I'm just not feeling right. You know, I'm feeling kind of confused I'm feeling kind of fearful for myself um, you know so set, spend some time recharging your batteries because I feel like the energy that this person is sending off you know they they really want you to be theirs and um, the energy that they're sending off is kind of scary it's kind of like this person, they plan to be with you no matter what, and um, they're dangerous. I feel like they're a dangerous person um, to other people that could be wanting to be with you. So try to heal yourself because I feel like the energy this person is sending off probably isn't really that great. But let's get some channeled messages of how they... Um, they feel about you. Okay, we've got one already. Oh, no, there's two. I miss your smile. You are an amazing person. So they see, you know, that you are an amazing person. They see that you're, you know, passionate, you're feisty, you're confident, you're hot. You're like this lioness and they think you're an amazing person. They miss your smile and they don't want anyone else to um, be with you. And then you've got, I love every inch of you, even your toes. You are my queen. So this person physically, um, they love every part of you, even your toes, which is kind of strange um, that this person loves your toes. I really think this person is obsessed with you and um, you are their queen. So they want to be your king. They don't want anyone else to have you. Um, let's see what other, we want some nice messages. We don't want these crazy messages that I feel coming from this person. One more. Okay, I'm going to pick this one. So we've got, uh, you have mad skills. You can do anything in life. I know you don't need me. Please keep me. Okay. This person, they want you to keep them. And I think they're fearful that you are going to go with somebody else. So they're going to fight for you. They're going to um, get rid of any competition. And they, they're they saying, please keep me. So that sounds very desperate, like a cry for help. So I think this person, they do need some help. So maybe they need to spend some time near water. But also I feel like you do um, because of the the vibes this person is sending out in your direction it it could be harming you so let's get some charms i said we would get um some charms for you okay so we've got um this um broken piece of glass so usually i call this sea glass but the, to me this just looks like a broken piece of glass so i think this person really they are broken down right now i feel like they are they're pretty desperate the the, the vibes that they're sending off they're desperate and they could be um a little bit erratic right now acting and we've got this um, back of this button so I think they really do want to come back that is their main thing right now um, we've got the main pin so it could be um, this person um, there's also swimming this is a swimming competition championship pin so I think this person um, if you have been to the water I think this person was probably watching you go swimming or maybe you were at the beach and there were a lot of people, but I think this person was kind of like watching you there or something like that. And then we've got the heart with a hole in it. So this person definitely, um, they are very hurt, but it's coming across as anger. So this person, the way they deal with their hurt is kind of in an angry type of way. 
Um, we've got the turquoise, which is really about boosting your psychic gifts. So I feel like intuitively, you kind of know that this person has these anger issues. And um, they really desperately want you back. And we've got blue. So maybe this person wants forgiveness. Maybe they feel like you've dumped them. You don't want them back. And they feel like it's over. But they really do want your forgiveness. Especially, we've got blue um, here too. Blue and white. So I feel like this person, they want peace with you. They want healing with you. They want forgiveness with you. And they want the truth to come out. They, um, that they really, they're desperate to get you back. This person, I feel like they're really desperate. But they could be hiding it from you. And then we've got this green. And green is really about, um, it's about healing. It's about growth. Um, it's about the earth, nature, plants. Um, so I feel like um, you do need to connect with the earth. You do need to go outside, spend time near the water. Um, I think this will help you to heal um, the, this negative energy. You need to let go of whatever vibes this person is sending to you. Um, I don't think they are intentionally doing it. But whatever vibes they're sending out, they're coming to you and it could be making you ill or feel sick. Um, and it's coming directly from this person and their energy. So this person may not be aware, but they could be actually making you sick. Um, and then you've got this um, orange and orange is about... Um, creativity, it's about joy, it's about celebration, it's about opportunities. So I think this person, they want a new opportunity with you, um, but I feel like you dump them or you block them or you, you didn't want to be with them because you saw the side of them that was a little bit extra and you didn't like that. Or maybe you felt like this person was a little bit crazy and I feel like you didn't want that. So, but this person, they still want you. And if you're asking about them, then I feel like you, maybe you want them too. You may could, you could be in denial about it. Okay, so that is all I have for you, number one. Okay, number two, it says be beautiful. Okay, so let's see, how does this person feel about you? He, she, um, okay, so we've got misfortune. We've got unexpected joy. We've got the page of cups. Hopefully these are all in frame. I don't even know, okay. Um, we've got the Page of Wands. We've got the Five of Pentacles. We've got the Six of Cups. And we've got Aracura Blossoming. Okay. It says, you are getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process. And do not give up. Okay. So... The page of cups so I feel like this person um, they could be younger than you they could be kind of innocent in a way um, but I feel like they really have a lot of love to give to you I feel like they are supportive they are um, a dreamer they are a person who um, you probably have a friendship with already or you did have a friendship with and um it was really a deep bond I feel like there was a lot of love between you and this person and uh this person brings you happiness um and they want to I feel like they want to come in with an offer of love they could want to propose to you and um give you this cup of love and then we've got unexpected joy. So I think that you're really not expecting this from this person that they want to propose to you. Um, you could just think that, you know, maybe you guys had this friendship and now it's over. 
Um, but I, I, I don't think this person feels the same. They don't feel like things are over. They, they want to propose to you. And uh, you, it's going to be unexpected to you that this person comes in. And I feel like they have a gift for you as well. Um, some sort of gift. So maybe it's an actual proposal. Maybe they're going to give you a ring. Maybe they've already been working this up and thinking about it of how they're going to propose to you. So they're going to do it kind of in an unexpected way is what I'm feeling. And then um, with the misfortune card, maybe you're thinking um, you're kind of being pessimistic right now. You don't think that this person, there's going to be any movement. There's going to be any progress. You could be feeling the loss of this connection. Um, like it's, it's just ended, you know, it's, it's done with, um, it's gone up in flame, so to speak with the misfortune card. Um, so I don't think you're looking at this optimistically. So when they do come in, it's going to be really, it's going to surprise you that this person really does want to take this next step, step with you. And then we've got the page of wands. So I feel like, um, this person has a lot of passion for you. Um, this person, they... They're very persistent as well. I feel like they, um, they're they not going to give up, you know. So if there has been some sort of loss between you guys, there has been some sort of upheaval or change in this connection, um, I feel like this person, they, they realize that they just need to keep pushing ahead. Um, they, they're very passionate for you and they want to take the steps that are necessary to make this happen so they're not gonna they're not gonna rest they're not gonna take a break until they make this happen um and then clarifying the um the unexpected joy we've got the five of pentacles so i feel like you at this time are kind of feeling like um a lot of worry um, you could be having going through some health issues. Um, you could be feeling like there's so many challenges in your life right now. And uh, you just need to recover. You need to um, maybe rest. You need to maybe um, go lie down. Um, because, you know, you're thinking of all of these dark times that you're maybe currently going through or have gone through and you're not seeing that there is this um this wake up awakening that's coming for you i feel like uh, this unexpected joy that is coming for you you're not going to see it coming that there is success on the horizon so i feel like how does this person feel about you with the six of cups they really um, they want to be with you. They want this commitment with you. They want this reunion with you. They have memories of these good times. And um, they could also want to help you with money matters. They could want to um, help you to maybe move somewhere that's um, nicer um, they could feel like, you know, the home that you're living in is been destroyed or it's just not livable anymore because this has been burned like where she lived. It's been burned. So they could feel like they need to help you in some way. They need to find you, um, a place to live for some of you out there. And this is going to be unexpected. Like this person they're going to come in, they're going to want growth with you, they're going to want to propose to you, they're going to tell you that they they want you to be patient, like, and they're going to help you. They're going to help you through any issues that you're having. It could be health issues, it could be um, financial issues, it could be debts, it could be um, a lot of different challenges that you're having in your life and this person unexpectedly they're gonna come in they have this deep love and attraction for you 
and they're going to help you give you strength and confidence and um, help you get through whatever you're going through because they love you and they haven't given up on you although you could think that they have and then blossoming so know that um, with the orange trees here and the blossoming I think that things are growing between you guys and with this little icon that you chose be you to fall so it's saying be you so they want you to be you they believe in you they think that you're very strong and you're resilient and you can get through anything that you're going through but they want to help you to get through um, anything that you're going through so let's get some um, personal messages from this person and then we'll get some charms that one I'm gonna get three of them these are um, channeled messages from your love that I've made okay so you've got um, you are the best at cuddling I want to grow old with you so this person they want to be with you long term that's why they want to propose to you and that's why they also want to come in and help you financially because they they see a future with you they see growth with you and they want to help you if you're going through any hard times it could be where you're living it could be your health um, it could be a number of things it could be financial and then you've got honey you know exactly what to say to cheer me up you are the best listener always and forever so this person always and forever yes this person they want to be with you forever um and you you actually help cheer them up so i feel like you and them both are kind of mirroring each other so i feel like you both are kind of you need cheering up and you guys need to talk because he says you're a good listener or she um, is a good listener. So they just, they want to talk to you about problems and they want to cheer you up and they want to grow old with you. And then you've got, I won the jackpot with you even when you are grouchy, I love you. So this person, um, even when you're in a bad mood or you're negative, because I feel like if you're, um, if you're the one watching this reading, you probably are a pessimistic person. You're probably sometimes grouchy, but they love that about you and they want to help to cheer you up um, because you guys cheer each other up. So let's get some charms um, for you and this person. Okay, so you guys get, um, this is a beer cap. It's banquet beers. It's like these little tiny beers. They're really cute. And it says, get your hands dirty. So um, this person, they want to get down and dirty. That's what I'm feeling. Um, and then you've got the owl. So I feel like this person, um, you probably intuitively know who this person is. Um, we've got the rainbow here. So this could be like a same-sex couple or you just could be, you know, um, open to that. You know, maybe you and this person are both that kind of person that's accepting of everybody. Like, um, I feel like you and this person both, um, you cheer people up. You guys are the type of people that cheer people up. You don't disrespect people um, for being individuals. And I feel like you guys are both you're very wise that way you guys are above the rest you know you guys are on a higher elevation than a lot of other people um you guys are like stars you guys are like twin stars is what i get you guys really are um you both would be very good at you know being a celebrity like i feel like both of you guys have celebrity qualities um in a way I kind of get that but green is about growth and I did say that this person wanted to grow with you and yellow is about the sun it's about happiness so I think that you guys in this connection you guys kind of cheer each other up you make each other happy 
And then we've got the turquoise, so that's about psychic gifts. So with the owl and the turquoise, you guys both are kind of intuitive people. Um, we've got the heart with a hole in it. So I feel like um, there could be a breakup here. There could be a separation here, but your person is missing you. And we've got orange. So orange is about joy. It's about celebrations. So we do feel like there is going to be some engagement here. Um, this person, they're going to come in. Maybe they want forgiveness or they want to mend things um, with the blue here. I feel like this person, it's going to be unexpected, but this person is definitely coming back in. And uh, they want to grow old with you. They they love you even when you're grouchy. It's It's cute. Okay, and last but not least, if you pick this Treats Now, Kitty, let's look at your cards. So you got Hope, you've got Lover, you've got Five of Cups, you've got Ten of Cups, you've got the Strength card, and you've got the Devil card, and you've got Vesta Home. Okay. So how does your person feel about you? Um, right off with the lover card, I think that this person, they have this deep um, commitment for you. They see that this is a partnership that is full of lots of love. Um, they feel this bond with you and you, you really touch their heart because the way he's holding his heart it's like you touch this person's heart, you know, so it's it goes deeper than just physical. But I do feel like with the devil card, this person has this um, this passion for you um, that goes beyond. It's kind of extreme. I feel like it's this person has this unquenchable lust for you and um, they are very passionate for you in kind of an addictive type of way. Um, so they could feel like kind of um, this loss with the five of cups. Um, they could feel regret. They could feel grief. They could feel um, like you've gone away and maybe they feel like unloved by you. Maybe they feel like you guys used to be close lovers and, you know, maybe that deep love has gone away and they're just they're still obsessing about it they they really they're not balanced right now their emotions could be really pessimistic they could have a lot of negative thinking um they could feel trapped in their negative thoughts um they could feel kind of greedy about being with you like they really they need you in a way um but the Five of Cups, they're, they're sad about whatever's happened between you. Um, but clarifying the Lover card is the Strength card. So I feel like they're kind of working on taking control of maybe any of their negative tendencies, um, their addictions, their um, whatever is making them feel... Um, trapped or controlling them or maybe an excess of passion or an excess of pain um, they're trying to keep their strength and they're trying to overcome these obstacles they want healing they want balance they want change and um, clarifying the devil we've got the hope card so they still have hope that things will grow that things will work out that you guys will come back together. Um, although they feel like really unloved right now, um, they do see a future with the Ten of Cups with you. I think they do see marriage. They do see family. They do see children. They do see um, supporting each other, loving each other. Um, so that's really what they want with you. So they feel like... Um, they can't give up on this, although they feel, you know, imprisoned right now, or they feel a lot of obstacles. 
um, they do want changes. They they want to have the strength to overcome any disharmony or you know pain or upheavals. They really do have hope that you guys can overcome that. And with the home card, I feel like they do want to um, change residences. They do want to move. And with the Ten of Cups, I feel like they do want to move in together. They do want to, um, I mean, I feel like this person, they're really greedy for you and they want to manifest this new beginning with you. So I feel like they want to move in together. Um, they want to, I feel like if they can be with you, then they'll be happy. Like this person, they're very determined to progress this. They're hoping that this will progress and that you guys can actually live together. With the home card and the ten of cups, they definitely want to, they want to have this, you know, they want you to feel tied to them in some way. So I feel like they want to get married and then they'll feel like, oh, well, she's got this ball and chain now, so she can't get away. So this is kind of illogical thinking, um, but that's how this person feels. They, um, they want you to be tied to them in a way um, so you can't get away, you know, because they're sad when the, you're not with them. So they're kind of not thinking clearly. Um, they feel imprisoned by their thoughts and uh, they just want this to work out. So let's get some personal messages. Personal channeled messages from this person. Whoa, we'll, we'll just take the first three. Okay, this person has a lot to say to you. Okay. So, I love your crazy side and how you aren't afraid to show it. You're sexy and exciting to me. So this person could be kind of compulsively thinking about maybe you guys had some kind of crazy sex life or if you guys haven't had sex, I feel like you guys have um, maybe talked about it a lot and they think you have this crazy side that's sexy and exciting and that's what one of the things that they like about you. Okay, so this is a message for a man, so I really like these messages. Um, it's so nice to see a man who can cook. You are one out of a million, so delicious. So, hey, this could go the other way. If you're the woman, I feel like maybe you're obsessing about this man. Maybe you think he's really sexy and you're overly thinking about this person sexually. Um, you could be really wanting this person really bad. Maybe they cook. Maybe they're good in the sack and you're just like, ooh, I really want this completion with this person. I want them to marry me. They are everything that I want. They're domestic. They're sexy. Um, so it could go either way. Oh, we've got another manly message. You are so handy. You are the strongest, sexiest man I've ever met. So for a lot of you out there, I feel like um, you're obsessing over this man. You see him as sexy. You see him as manly. You see him as domestic. Like he's the whole package and you want to marry this person. Um, you want them to be your ball and chain. You want to move in with them. So I love these manly cards. They're wonderful. They're, I don't know. I just felt drawn to put them in there. So, hey, we're going to boost some men's confidence today. You are sexy. You are handy. You are, you can cook. You are one in a million. You're so delicious. So remember that. Let's get some, um, let's get some charms. Okay, 
So we've got the love letter. Okay, this doesn't come out much. So I think this person has a lot to say to you. Um, remember when I was doing these personal messages, like a zillion of them flew out. This person has a lot more that they want to tell you about you, that they love about you. Um, treats now. So maybe this could be you and you're like, hey, um, cook me up something sexy and delicious. Um, so this person, they can cook. And you love that. And then we've got Mickey Mouse. So I feel like um, this person, they they bring out your little cute side, your girly side. I feel like you would be domestic for this person. Like um, you would be their cute little girl and they would be your like strong little man or big man. <laughs> Because it says you are the str sex strongest, sexiest man I have ever met. And then it's like you are the cutest little thing ever, like Mickey Mouse. So you guys will just be so, you'll be like what, that couple that makes other people puke or want to puke. <laughs> and then you've got this penny. So I feel like um, this person, they do want to help you financially. I feel like that's why they want to move in together really badly is because they want to help you financially in whatever way they can even if they don't have a ton to offer they want to do it and we've got orange which is about new opportunities it's about growth it's about fire so there could be a lot of passion here between you and this person um, we've got green which is about growth so if you like this person they do want to grow they do have hope that you guys can heal things and work things out they do feel this peaceful connection with you and uh they don't want to fight they they're not a fighting type of person it could come across that they are but they really aren't um we've got this beach stone so i feel like this person um they're, they do want to go somewhere. Maybe they want to go on a cruise or they want to go on a trip. Like I get that from the boat here. Um, they want to go someplace like near water and like maybe hang out or um, you've got this transparent heart. So I feel like this person, they really do want to tell you how they feel. Like we had a million messages that tried to fly out. They really want to be transparent with how they feel. Like this man, he's holding his heart. He really wants you to know that how he feels. And then we've got the blue. So blue is about forgiveness. Um, so I feel like um, this person wants to come back. They, they, they regret whatever they did. Like if they did something terrible to you, they really do regret it. So that's what I'm getting for you. If you pick number three, um, stick around. Oops, there goes my rock. Um, so stick around if you want to participate in the yes, no, I am going to do this, um, additional question for you guys. Okay. So if you're here for the yes, no, then think of your question and we will get your answer. Okay, so we got no for right now, but things can always change. So whatever you ask, the answer is no. So thank you guys so much for coming. And um, I welcome you to head on over to my Etsy. I have a lot of different things there. I have readings. I have necklaces. I have charms. Um, there's lots of things over on my Etsy page. So go check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate your support to help my channel grow so that I can continue doing these readings for you. And if you feel drawn to make a donation on my channel, just know that um, I'm sending my love out to you. All of these donations that I get, um, I may not talk about them, but I really do. They touch my heart. You know, they bring a tear to my eye that you guys really appreciate me that much to make these donations to my channel. So love and light and blessings I am sending out to all of you and good luck in your relationships and your situationships. Bye-bye.